Hey everybody, Invisible Katana here doing a little vlog video because uh, yesterday was actually my birthday. I turned 24 on October 6th. So I'm celebrating my birthday weekend. I actually have to go to work today. But I'll be celebrating my birthday weekend. So I kind of wanted to know what you guys thought I should do. Some random things. I never ever have any plans because I don't really personally celebrate my birthday myself too much. I kind of don't even think about it too often. Um, but, you know, I've gone out. I've got a couple of gifts. So I'm going to show those off. But... You know, it's kind of weird um, with this being my 24th birthday. It's actually the first. It was actually the first birthday I ever had where I wasn't in school because I graduated from college recently. So it was really weird thinking about that. Like this was that was kind of the first day, first birthday, just like you know, it's like when people say it's like the first day of the rest of your life type of thing. I, I kind of felt of it. I kind of felt like it was that, and I was like, nah, that's really weird because it wasn't just oh, I'm not in school today or. You know, it's the weekend, so I'm not in school. So I'm just like, nope, I just, I'm not going to school, period. I didn't go yesterday, I'm not going tomorrow. I'm just, I'm out. So it was interesting, it being, you know, my first birthday after uh, graduating. So I thought that was pretty interesting. It was just a kind of a weird thing to think of. Like my whole life, at least, when, you know, of course, once you get into school, you don't really remember the ones before you get into school. But pretty much my entire life, you know, my, my birthdays have been with me in school, especially since, you know, I'm, my birthday's in October, I'm actually, I'm typically, like, literally in school. It's not like I'm even on, you know, vacation. I'm typically actually in school. So, it was really weird. I thought that was an interesting thing. Like, man, it's, it's my first birthday out of college, so. A little weird, just going into the rest of life. But I wanted to go into the couple of gifts I got. I, I might get some more gifts. I got, you know, some checks. I got some money, of course, from grandmothers. It's, it's always money from grandmothers. Um, but I got some gifts yesterday. My girlfriend took me out and uh, some friends. We went to uh, Red Lobster, of course, because Red Lobster is fancy and you get delicious biscuits. So I got some gifts there. Uh, my buddies, they got me this, which is the uh, the PlayStation wireless headset, which is pretty cool. Uh, my girlfriend was a little mad at them because she said that their gift was better than hers. So I thought that was funny. Uh, she doesn't think that's funny, but I still think it's pretty funny. But they got me the uh, gold wireless stereo headset. Which is really cool. So it's like 7.1. It's something. It's got a bunch of stats. Yeah, 7.1 virtual surround sound. So that's really cool. Uh, it's got a headset uh, companion app. So custom audio modes, which is kind of interesting. I'm curious what that's gonna do. Comes with a little, um, the, a little, a normal 3.5 millimeter jack, which is really good because I don't know what happened to my other one. So when I'm at work, I use my broken one, and I can only hear out of one ear unless I like twist the wire around. So I spend like four hours of work. I'm walking around trying to clean stuff, and I'm like twisting this wire just so it's in both ears, and because it, it it's weird when you hear stuff in only one ear. So I'm glad I got a new little jack for that because I'm going to be using that tonight when I go to work. Um, it is wireless, so that's pretty cool. It has an internal mic, which is nice, and it's um, has a built-in rechargeable battery, so that's pretty cool too. But I'm excited to use it. It has a colla it folds in, which I don't know if that'll really show up too well, but it actually collapses in, which is pretty pretty nice just for space and safety because I mean it, it makes it harder to you know break if it's like basically folds in on itself so I do really love that and it's this tiny little wireless uh, connector so that's pretty sweet too but I thought this was cool I never actually planned on getting one of these because I already have my other wireless headset but these should be really freaking awesome and because they have the uh, 3.5 millimeter jack I can use them on anything and not just the PS3 and PS4 so that was really cool uh, my girlfriend got me two little gifts, though, which I do enjoy. She, of course, thinks they're not as good. But she got me two pop figures. Uh, they're both um, exclusive figures. And so the first one is actually a Futurama figure. It's a blue Zoidberg, and I love Futurama. Um, so she got me this. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. So that's really cool. I like that. It's only, well, it shows only four on the back here. We have uh, Farns, Professor Farnsworth, Nibbler, and Zap Brannigan, which I would love Zap Brannigan, too, just because... Zap Brannigan is hilarious to me. But then she got me another one, which is, it's not only exclusive, but it's a limited edition exclusive, so that makes it even more exclusive, I guess. Um, and it's the Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees pop figure. And this actually came in a mystery pop figure box. So there was another box on top of this where it covers it up. And it was one of three options. It was either Jason, Beetlejuice, or Pinhead, which I find really weird that Beetlejuice would be mixed in with Pinhead and Jason Voorhees because... It's Beetlejuice, like it's somewhat creepy, but it's a comedy movie. So 
It was kind of weird to see that on the back, but I wanted Beetlejuice initially, and then my girlfriend kind of pointed out it didn't look that much like Beetlejuice. It kind of looked like a variant on the Joker, because he wasn't even in, like, the pinstripe suit. He was in, like, the early costume where he's wearing a plaid shirt and some jeans. So I was like, yeah, that isn't that iconic. That's not the costume you think of when you think of Beetlejuice. You don't think of him in the first part of the movie where it's like, yeah, it's, it's Beetlejuice in the, in the plaid shirt and jeans. You think of Beetlejuice in, like, the pinstripe suit. So... I was actually kind of glad I got Jason Voorhees because I do love Friday the 13th, even though technically I've only seen two of the movies. I saw the original movie and Jason X. Um, I saw the remake. The remake is amazing. I always say that. Every time I bring up the remake, I always have to mention the remake is freaking sweet. So I got these two figures, so that's really cool. And I definitely like those. I think with the two of these, I think I might take Zoidberg out. Or no, I think I might leave Zoidberg in the box, and I might actually take Jason out. Because I think Jason is cool and could be out the box. But because this is like an exclusive, it's it's not how Zoidberg normally looks. I kind of like it with the box where you see what he normally looks like, and you get to see the, you know, how it's different. So I kind of like that idea where you, you know, you see the normal red Zoidberg. And then you see the figure is the blue Zoidberg. So I kind of like that idea where it's like, oh, it's actually different from the picture. So I might leave that one in the box, but... Jason, I might, you know, I might take him out. I might set him up somewhere. I don't know where, because I normally don't take out any of my pop figures. You know, I take him out, like, just to look at him, and then I put him back in the box, because I don't really have any space to, like, just, you know, set him up or anything. So once I have that, I'll probably set him up somewhere. But I think Zoidberg will probably stay in the box. But I, I like both of those for sure. Uh, this is super random. This wasn't a gift. I just wanted to show this off because I have it, and I just wanted to show this, because I haven't shown this. I think I had this in the video, like, a year ago when I first bought it. And I've never had anywhere to put it up. So I finally have a place because um, at my girlfriend's house, there are just a bunch of screws from the last family. There's like screws, there's like eight screws sticking out of the wall just in this room alone. They had a bunch of stuff hanging up in this house. So I finally have a place to actually hang that up. I just wanted to show it off because it, it, it still won't be in the background or anything. But I just want to randomly show that off. But like I was saying, I um, wanted to really do this video just to talk about my birthday and really ask you guys... Uh, what you thought I should do, you know, random things I should do to celebrate. I'm probably going to go out to eat with my mom because it's sort of, you know, typical parent thing. They take you out to eat and stuff like that. So I'm sure she'll want to go out. I'm sure we'll end up doing something, you know, something over the weekend. I'm not sure yet, but I'm sure we'll be doing something once you just do this. Um, been a really odd week. You know, I've been, internet and stuff has been really weird. So I'm a, quite, I'm a bit behind. I'm basically a full week behind on like everything that premiered this week. So, I got some serious uploads to do uh, once I get up to the school. I got, like, some premieres. I got Flash and Arrow and the brand new series Frequency I did. So, all those will probably get uploaded before I do this. I'm not 100% sure if I'll upload this one first or not, but I don't know. I wanted to just make this little video just to talk about it. I'm actually going to get into doing, for those of you who might be interested, I'm going to actually get into uh, my giveaway for this month. And it'll be a double giveaway, so I'll have two winners this time for anyone who might be interested because I didn't end up doing one uh, last month because things just got really crazy with the move and just all sorts of insanity. So I didn't end up doing the giveaway last month, so I kind of you know just doubled down on this one and I'll have two giveaways. If you guys are interested, just it'll be something. It'll say giveaway in the title of the video. You'll easily be able to find it. It'll be very recent. But thank you guys for checking this one out. If you guys have any suggestions as to what I should do to celebrate my birthday, laser tag, bowling. Anything just to throw some ideas out there because I seriously have no plans. I didn't even realize my birthday was this week until uh, last week. I kind of I don't pay I really don't pay attention to when my birthday's coming up. And I was like, uh, I was looking at something, and I think because in my phone I have like the Google Calendar thing, so they automatically you know they like when it's your birthday on Google it changes to like the cake and all that stuff. So I don't know when I was flipping through my phone and it went to the calendar, it said Happy Birthday. I was like, Oh yeah, my birthday's next Thursday. So I really didn't remember. I was just kind of going along and people would ask me, I was like, oh, I don't know. I forgot my birthday was Thursday. Like my mom asked me that like on Tuesday and my birthday was yesterday on Thursday. So I was like, oh, I don't know. I didn't have any plans. And I was about to say I forgot, but she had to do something. So she already took off. And I was like, oh, yeah, I totally forgot. I wasn't even thinking about it. But if you guys have any suggestions, uh, please put your comments down in the comment section below. If you guys have any random birthday stories you guys want to share, you can certainly do that as well. But, of course, thank you guys for watching. And Like I said, if you guys have any suggestions, I'll, you know, I'll, it, depending on what it is, if I can possibly film it, I might do that. If somebody, well, it's fall now. I'm in Michigan, so it's still warm now. It could get cold at 
it can get cold in an instant. You never know in Michigan. It, boom, like that, we're freezing. So I don't know. If, I might do some go-kart stuff. I would love to do that because I have a, a little action cam that my buddy wanted me to test out for him. So if I actually end up doing some go-kart stuff, I might actually film that. That would be very fun, actually. To finally do. I'd have to get a setup to actually have it on me. But I'd love to do that. I, I haven't done go-karting in a long time. But either way, any suggestions you guys have or any stories you have, you can put them down in the comment section below. And of course, like I said, thank you guys for checking this one out.